What's up everybody? Patrick from WP Builder Helper and in today's video I have a special guest. Fiona, my little puppy, is actually sitting behind me recording with me today. So today's video is going to be a review video. I got contacted by Happy Forms. They said they wanted me to look at their plugin. They weren't going to pay me to take and do it. That wasn't what I was into. But they wanted me to basically review it and give my honest criticism and feedback on it. So I spent some time looking at it and I kind of went through it. And I also went through other form plugins. I'm going to be having a post that comes out on my website that details some of the the more detailed of price and comparison and features and things like that. But for right now, we're just going to go over the features of Happy Forms. And I will mention some of the stuff that I figured out with other form plugins and where it falls in line. All right, so let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm back. So this is the Happy Forms website that we're looking at. And as you can see, it is a kind of like a typical form builder that you would see. Um, not all form builders on WordPress work the same. So you really gotta kind of dig into it and look at the features and see what what they have. So part of the stuff that they have is file upload, dashboard analytics, save abandoned responses, multi-page forms, open up form in a pop-up, password protection, form date time scheduler, limit of form responses, unlimited forms and responses. I don't know why they put this on here. I mean, most of the forms, so remember when I was talking about page builders, I hate the fact that people advertise very common features. Every single form builder out there has unlimited forms and unlimited responses. So I don't think this needs to be on the web page. I think it really needs to be taken off because it's such a common thing now that if you didn't have it, people would question why you even have a form builder to begin with or why you even have a form for WordPress. Uh, advanced filtering of responses, poll with live results, login IP addresses, uh, conditional logic, and reCAPTCHA integration. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. That was one of my biggest complaints because I saw some complaints on the forum, and I think that I agree with them to some extent. But, uh, you know, we'll take a look. We'll dive into pricing a little bit later, but we'll get into that. So um, let's go to our default theme, and I'm going to make a page. Well, let's go to the Happy Forms and see what we got here. So... This is a sample form that they have, so let's edit it and see what it has here. So as you can see, it's a form builder, so that's pretty cool. Let me, let me drag this down just so you can see everything. So it's a form builder, so it works similar to some of the other form builders out there, but unlike maybe like Contact 7 or some of these other forms, you can go in and you can actually click on the things you want to change, and they've got edit menus, which is really, really cool. I like that much better. I don't like using the short code method because someone who's not used to coding or PHP or something like that is going to struggle with that. Even if it's the simplest method that you, you, know, you have, it's still not as simple as seeing a WYSIWYG live editor kind of like this. And I really like this method. And so you can see there's some setup here. There's some error messages. If you get an error message, you can choose all the randomized options and passwords. I want to mention I am on um, the business account. I'm looking at this. So I have a lot of the stuff that maybe the free feature doesn't get. And that's one of the things that we're going to talk about in a minute. But for right now, you're seeing all of the options unlocked, essentially, which I don't think, if you want my honest opinion, I don't think it's a bad deal. It's... Um, it's only like $99 a year, and it's even off. I don't know if this is a full-time uh, deal that they give off all the time or if it's just going on, and once again, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, but that, I think that's a good deal for five websites to have uh, a form that works that has all of this included in it. It's pretty good. I think most people would not need unlimited forms. I think that's for a much, much bigger company. Or something like that. I'm not even sure why you would need unlimited forms. Maybe if you were reselling it, you would need it. I'm not exactly sure why you'd need unlimited forms. But if, for whatever reason, that's part of the reason why it's so expensive. So 
you know, you can see you have a lot of options here. You select your email. It works like every other form uh, distributor that's in here. You can go in and you can just kind of select your email, select your stuff, and basically go in and customize it the way that you want to customize it. You've even got some theme styles, which I guess it uses, oh wow. So it actually uses the styles of your theme. Huh, okay. I'm behind that, that's pretty cool. So it's got some padding that you could adjust. You could obviously adjust the width of it if you want a smaller form or longer form. You can adjust the direction, left to right, right to left. You could do below, uh, above or below. So they've got they've got some neat things here. Obviously, it's got more stuff than what you would expect. And then when you go in here, you can add a field. And when you add a field, you have this long list of um, basically things that you can add, almost like a page builder, essentially. So you can kind of go in there and you can add titles and text and media and dividers and page breaks. It's also got blanks, star ratings, signatures, which I didn't even know it had signatures. That's pretty cool. And a consent choice for requiring for uh, permission before accepting submission. That's more of that GDPR type stuff where you want to make sure that your people are accepting whatever information you're giving them. If you're going to use it, um, I won't say unethically, but if you're going to use it in a way where you sell it, you want to make sure they actually sign up for that and that you're not just selling people's information. Date, time, address, a slider scale, which is very cool. I want to see what this is. Oh, so you can actually go in and select a slider. That's pretty cool. That's neat. There's a lot of forms, like especially Contact 7 doesn't have stuff like that. Or if it does, it's an add-on that I've never seen. But you can see this has almost everything you can think of. I like the file upload too. File upload is something that you start getting into and you don't see it until the very end of um, most forms. Like you got to buy like the higher packages in order to see it. So you've got the ability to take and upload a file, which is neat. And you can go through that. That's that's pretty cool. That's neat. I like it. There's there's a lot here. There's a lot here that's that's really really cool. To me, it, so my my own opinion of this form is this. So I went through the forms. I did a deep dive because I wanted to do a deep dive and understand where their business model was. And their starter package is the best form package that you can possibly get on the market, hands down. Their starter package is the cheapest. Most forms start off at around $70.00 basically a year and that's one year of updates and it's one website it really really sucks but and you don't get any integration you don't get you know any kind of integration with anything not even payment another thing i'm going to talk about is payment integration so payment integration with them is included in their medium business package which i think is cool because most uh professional or most forms will make you pay over $200 for any kind of payment integration. So if you want to integrate something like PayPal or something like that, then you really need to have this included. And I'm not sure why you would want to integrate. I guess if you wanted to use it for a business purpose. But I feel like, you know, most things with PayPal and most things with that, I mean, you can make a button that literally goes to PayPal. So I don't know why you would want that, but maybe you just want to make it nicer or whatever the case is. Regardless, it's cool that you can kind of set it up all together and almost make your own virtual shopping cart, essentially. And that's probably what they're doing with that, is making it more for somebody who wants to make their own virtual shopping cart. So I can get behind that. I think that that's cool. Like I said, if you're using this for business purposes, I think that $99 a year is not bad. And then you even get a 30% discount off of renewal. So here's my complaints with the form in general. It's a good form plugin. I don't think it's a bad form plugin. I played with it and I really like it. And it's definitely much, much easier than most form plugins out there. My problem with it is there's a lot of features that form plugins give for free. One is reCAPTCHA. So in case you don't know, reCAPTCHA is basically just a spam catch-all. It stops your forms from getting spammed. And in the free version of this, they don't actually give you reCAPTCHA, which I think is a bit of a problem. reCAPTCHA should be for free. I mean, Google actually hosts the stuff, so 
I'm not sure why that would be something that wouldn't be included in the free tier. So I'm really, really going to push them to to try and make that free because I think that they need a they need to make their their free plugin, which I know they need to make money, but I think recapture spam fighting should be a free charge. It's just some small token of basically making people happy, and I really think that they should basically look at that because to me, it's pretty important. I think that there's some awesome things that are in here though that you don't see from other form uh, plugins. One being that you can open your form in a pop-up. Maybe you don't want your page to look like is is bad as some forms you know if you have a form that's super long going from like header to footer type form you don't want that to show up on a page so maybe use a pop-up to use that so that it's an easier form another thing that they have that i didn't see on a lot of the form plugins was user role management so maybe you have a big website and you want to block certain people from editing the form the user role management is another thing that would be super helpful if you're running a super huge website. So I like that. So there's, there's like I said, there's things in here that I think are awesome. Do I think it is like hands above all the other forum platforms that they kind of mention here? Mm, kind of, kind of not. I mean, they're all basically the same. I started digging into a lot of the forum plugins and at the end of the day, there's always a really expensive package that's about $300. There's a really cheap package that's between $100 and $150. And then usually there's a smaller package that's anywhere between, you know, $29 all the way up to $79. And by the way, the $29 one that I'm talking about is the a la carte from one of these form builders. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it goes all the way up to $129. And it's... It's ridiculous. You don't get anything with it. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. I'd rather buy the $49 here and use that. But my main reason for liking Happy Forms is because they say it's a form you can grow with. I honestly kind of believe that because if you look at the features, you could start off with the free form just to play with it. Just know that you're going to get some spam. It's going to happen. But, you, you know, you could start off with the free form to begin with and then move into the $49 form and then move up to the business form once you need more form acquisition or just stay with the $49 form. I mean, you're going to come back and you're going to get 20% uh, off of renewal for the $49. I mean, you're going to save a couple bucks and every year you're going to pay a couple bucks for an update. And if they don't update it, then guess what? You just keep the form plug in or do whatever and you can keep using it. It just won't be updated. You know, so the choice is yours. There's a lot that you can do with this, and I think it's really cool. And I think that most page builders a lot of times miss the mark with form builders. Not all of them, but most of them miss the mark with form builders. I know for sure Oxygen doesn't have one. Um, Divi's form builder is kind of iffy sometimes. I uh, don't remember if Elementor, I think Elementor does have one. I know Brizzy has one, but a lot of them don't have it. So if they don't have it, you're going to need something. This is that something that you could kind of use to do your own forms. But like I said, they do have a free version. So go ahead and go to Happy Forms and you can check out their free plugin and download it from there and just give it a test drive and just see what you think of it. There's not a lot to it because it is a form plugin, so you'll have to have something that you want. And you'll probably notice some limitations right off the bat because maybe you won't have as many options as you want. But it's really cool that they have all of these options that you can literally go and throw into a form and create your own form without a problem. So I hope that this has helped you guys. If you've liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe below. And I'm going to have more videos coming out this week. I have another video planned that one of the uh, kind, kind customers gave me access to his server, which has a brand new page builder from like last year that just came out. So I'm going to be running that video soon and going over the details and what I think of it and what you can expect from it. And I'm going to be covering that. So hopefully you like this and I will see you guys next time.